Për shëndetit dhe mirë se vini të ndërruar të ligjikues në këtë intervistë të radhës, një intervistë vërtet e veçantë të cilën kam kënajsin të moderoj, bëjt fjalë për një artikull mjaft interesant të cilin ne ledzuam pak ditë më parë në New York Times, gazeta më madhe amerikane, na prezentoj me një film, me një film shqiptarë, me ose më sakë me një film që bëndë fjalë për shqiptarët, për jetën të tyre të vështirë, për probleme me cilja ta përbalen, Shqipta që kanë shkuar më herët të drejqëtetet bashkuarët Amerikës, ku jo të gjithë arin të suksesojnë në drejtimet të e tyre në punën që ta zjedhen, por ka dhe disa tje që për shkak të kushtat e trethanave, për ndoshtat e dhe pse jo dhe lagjes ku jetojnë dhe tyronë të marrë një jetë tjetër. Por, shtetet bashkuarët Amerikës, Amerika është një mole madhe, është një mundësie madhe edhe për njërës të cilët ndoshtat dikur kanë gabuar, por që edhe gabimet shpesh herë mund të kthejen në i mundësi suksesi, në i mundësi pse jo për të ndryshuar dhe përdo një tjetër imaj qoftë për vete, po qoftë edhe për vëndin e tyre. Kjo është rasti i John Rezajt. John Rezajt është një shqiptar cilë është lërguar që i vogël nga Shqipria duke kaptuar malet një histori që ne do të kemë mundësin të amësojmë gjatë intervistës që ne do të zhvillojmë pikërisht me zotin John Rezaj e cili ndodhet në lidhët të drejt për drejt me mua nga shtetet bashkuarët Amerikës dhe në shëqërin e ti zotit Jozef Mazijaj i cili gjithashtu ka qenë pjesë e filmit Albanian Gangster. Hello to everybody, thanks for having you here in this interview. Thank you for having me, falimin e shumë. Falim derit. Hello, how you doing? Mr. Rezai and Mr. Mazie, first I want to start with uh, Mr. Rezai that was even the subject of a story and a feature that has been uh, published uh, last days in New York Times. So Mr. Rezai, what is this movie? What is this new experience in your life? Uh, well, to be honest, to start first, super exciting. Something I never expected, you know. I've done some small time acting in the past, but uh, not to, to this extent, you know. Mm -hmm. This was a couple of years of hanging out with this director who was very interested in the Albanian lifestyle in uh, New York City. He's uh, very interested in the culture of Matthew Brown, who was the director and also my partner. Mm -hmm. a and a true genius, if you ask me. <laughs> yes. But, uh, you know, uh, he, he came to me after a long time of trying to reach me, after he had done already a lot of research on Albanian culture in New York City, in America, actually. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, uh, one thing led to another, and we we we, uh, we came into contact, and then uh, we hit it off. That's it. You know, we just stayed together for about two years. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reza, is is the film is the the Albanian gangster uh, the story of your own life? Absolutely not. Absolutely, <laughs> it's just a, no. But it's a story about New York life. For some people, a lot of different people, not just me. But you know, it's a, uh, I don't know how to put this in the correct words. Uh, it's just like uh, stories you hear about what happened with this one, what happened with this one. This is how these things happen in the streets of New York. Mm -hmm. You know, that, yeah. that element, that, that element. Mm -hmm. you this are, is what this movie portrays. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm starting first the interview about the movie and I'm asking uh, even your cousin Joseph Mazia is nearby. What, what, what it was this experience in this, in this film? Was it natural or it, it was a surprise for you? Uh, I would say kind of both because, mm -hmm. you know, we started like, as John said before, but yes. uh, it was very natural. Like, you know, even when we go to California for a festival, world premiere, everybody like, like was surprised to us, you know, what, what, what kind of work, basically what kind of work he did. <laughs> like he's the main of, main character on the movie, yeah. so he's the star of the movie. I guess yes. they like me. <laughs> we, we, we'll, talk, uh, uh, we'll talk about later uh, what, uh, the, the, for him, for John, sharing the uh, prize with a, a well-known actor like Ethan Hawke, and he really uh, played in an uh, interesting film, it's about the uh, Stockholm Syndrome. But uh, yep. this, uh, this new life, being an actor in a movie, it's now a new way for you both in, the, in, the, in your life in USA? Well, uh, absolutely, it changed a lot of things for me, you know, uh, it's put me on a whole different level, like I'm really surprised at everything that's going on, I'm, I'm flattered to be honest, I didn't think I was really capable of doing anything like this, but it turns out that uh, I guess they think I'm good at what I do. <laughs> you are, you are simply, simply original and unbelievable. But uh, John, uh, do you have any, you. Uh, do you have any other uh, uh, proposal or uh, projects uh, in the future in the way of movie? So uh, can you, can we say now that you are part of Hollywood? 
Uh, well, the steps are moving up. Every, every day is a one step up. As a matter of fact, today somebody offered me a lead role in a movie that they're looking to do in New York now. But that's another thing. But What's also, but also, uh, yeah, I just came back from a business trip in, uh, in L.A. And uh, there's a lot of things in the works. There was also a part two to this movie. Well, it's not the same movie, but there was a part two film that we're not completely finished with yet. Mm -hmm. uh, should be done probably in the next couple of months depending on how our schedule is going, because now there's so much on our plate. There's a lot of people coming to us yes. for so many different things. And uh, it's a little overwhelming, if you ask me, because I wasn't really prepared for all this. <laughs> but I believe it's nothing I can't handle. We just uh, got to see now. Now I'm playing at Citroen and uh, I'm already played by ear. What's coming up next? What's the first proposal? Like I said, I just had a great business trip in LA and uh, there were some proposals. And now I'm just waiting to see what the results of all those conversations are. Mm -hmm. John, so. uh, John, what, what is what is the uh, uh, let's let's say uh, the approach that the uh, uh, Amer American public does have in confront of uh, the Albanian gangster movie? What well, are what what, what uh, are what are the opinion about this? Uh, so far, it's been mostly positive. Mostly positive. Mostly positive. Yes. Pretty much 99% positive. Mm -hmm. You'll always have somebody that doesn't agree with what you're doing or they don't like the like the style of the movie, maybe, or you make us look bad. But this is a genuinely like a rugged, gritty, true crime story, a mm -hmm. New York City streets crime story. And this this is a lot of acting. This is not anything that's real because people have uh, failed to realize that uh, this is just a, a piece of art. It's not a, it's not a documentary, for instance, mm -hmm. you know. But it's based on a lot of documentary type stories because, you know, these are stories over the years of growing up in the streets of New York. Not my stories, everybody's stories. And because there was so many people involved who were just hanging out, we're telling stories. And uh, this is where Matthew Brown came in, the director. You mm -hmm. know, all he did was sit there and he was listening to these stories. It's like, wow, he was amazed. And he was amazed about the culture <laughs> and the lifestyle and how we could just hang out and smoke in our cafes where it's illegal to do that anywhere in the state of New mm -hmm. York. Like, you guys just do whatever you want, this and that. <laughs> and he put his ideas together and he, we made this movie, man. He did a great job. He put, every, he put the pieces together. He's the glue to this movie. Mm -hmm. John, uh, uh, will you play another movie where we are not, uh, let's say, play the role of the Albanian gangster, but uh, uh, to a, a good Albanian, to the friendly one, to the, to the heart no. <laughs> one? You know? I because look forward. I look be, forward to that. Because, because if, you, if you ever... Have, ever heard what it's going on with Albanians. We have uh, uh, dealing with this uh, kind of uh, they uh, seeing us as criminals or uh, yeah, very like negative. I understand that. Yeah, so in I, a negative see, way. I'm trying to get away from that negativity. I'm looking forward to doing projects in the future where it's going to be something positive about our culture, about everything, starting from over there to, to a journey to America. But, you know, this is all new to me right now. It's just uh, me, to be honest, I'm still I'm still a little surprised about the outcome of this movie. I didn't mm -hmm. think it would get this much attention, but this was just a movie that I was offered and uh, they they asked me to play a character and this is what I did, you know, to the best Absolutely. of my ability. You you yeah, did you, know? you did so well, John. So uh, we, thank you, thank you we, very we, much. We can share this information for the public, uh, for Albanian public who doesn't know that you also shared an uh, um, uh, a price with a certain Ethan Hawke. What does it mean uh, you, for you this this kind of uh, valuable uh, uh, way of Americans seeing your acting in the Albanian gangster? I uh, you know to be honest, I'm still in awe. I'm really? so super surprised that this is beyond belief because I didn't believe that I, had, I even would have a chance with such a great act as Ethan Hawke. And to split that award, I was when I heard them say my name, I was like, what? <laughs> no. no, you they, didn't expect they it at all. No, no. I was like, they, they have to have this wrong. <laughs> There's no way that they got me in there with Ethan Hawke, you know, but it was very flattering. And uh, I'm humbled by it and super happy, I'm super <laughs> happy about it. And uh, I just hope I can continue to do things. Uh, you know, Joseph uh, is is John. Uh -huh. Joseph, said, uh, yes, I'm. I'm asking uh, 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 Joseph a question. Joseph is uh, John the same the same John he was before he's now a, a star movie. Well, uh, as I know him, I've been here only for ten years. So uh, basically, I'm, John doesn't change. It's the same. I've never guy changed. I'm never going to change. How does it deal with the fame now? 
I, I stay inside more. <laughs> we, try, we try not to go out too much. You know? No, really. Because I we, mean, it's, it's overwhelming. You know, there's so many people that uh, just randomly want to take pictures. Oh, are you this guy in the movie? This and that. And of course, I got to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really honored by that when they come up to me and they recognize me. But it can become a little overwhelming and I, it's starting to get more overwhelming now because uh, there's more there's more exposure and whatnot, you know? Yes. But uh, I, I like it. And then on the other hand, like it keeps me uh, sometimes like, oh, I've had enough right now, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm a superstar or anything, but, you know, yes. it's something I need to get used to, I guess. Uh, uh, what what about the Albanian community? How does uh, the Albanian uh, see this uh, this uh, this role of you in the in the film and the movie entire? About how does the movie represent uh, the Albanian community, especially in Bronx, but uh, uh, over over overall the the United States? Well, to be honest, I've got, got nothing but positivity. Yes. Okay, but. This is not, this movie, I don't want to say that, I don't want people to think that this is a representation of Albanians in America or anything. This was just, all in all, it's, it's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. That's what it is. But it's an action crime movie. It's something that uh, the director thought that people might want to see. And uh, yes. he told me to do what he wanted me to do. And I did it, hmm. like I said, I listened to the guy. Everything that he asked me to do, I did the way he wanted it. <laughs> he, by the way, he's South African, you know, so he's not an Albanian. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, but I tried, you know, I mean, this movie, I wouldn't want my children to see it. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, I just want to be honest with you. I don't want I'm gonna, my kids to see this movie. I didn't want my mother to see this movie. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> she said to me, Sike bonk, stun film. I was like, Mom, man, last. I spent them acting, mom. I <laughs> You know, so I was a little embarrassed by it, to be honest. And it was hard for me to watch myself on screen, you know. And like I said, man, it was just something that takes a little getting used to. But I'm getting, I'm, I'm adapting to it uh, yes. quickly. John, uh, it's it's still a movie, but uh, we Albanians ask always about the money. Are you rich uh, after the movie now? I'm sorry. Uh, we Albanians, we uh, we used to ask about uh, your profits, your money, and, or, and so on. Are you rich? You richer uh, after the, the, <laughs> no. the movie? <laughs> no, no, far from that. <laughs> Please, I wish. From your from your mouth to God's ears, inshallah, poor. But one rich. But there it's a lot of hard work, man. And uh, you know, I, I you know I, I got paid for my job. Yes. I stand to make more, hopefully depending on the success of the movie and then where this movie takes us on to our next projects or whatnot. But yes. no, I'm not rich and I, I wish. You, you, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you, you will still uh, uh, collaborate with uh, Matt uh, Brown or you will have yeah, an, another absolutely. producer? No, no, no. He's, he's, me and Matthew Brown, we're, we're, we're inseparable. Me and him are partners from day one and we're going to be partners to the end. Fine. You know, there's a, mm -hmm. there's a level of loyalty and love between us and I his family. So my family like we became very close and we both have the same goals in mind you know mm -hmm. I, we I, want to reach a, a certain level together because we start out together i got it uh joseph that's not it, to say that it, yes. that's not i'm sorry absolutely go go that's not to say other things are, won't happen with other movies or whatnot but uh, as of right now we're like this and we're gonna stay like this he's the man yeah i find no he's, jo he's my guy yes he directs me Joseph, is is this uh, for you too an an opportunity to to move uh, toward of uh, moving career? Yeah, it's kind of like pretty good. I I didn't expect it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like he's like the first day we started shooting, John was at my house. He's like, hey, you wanna you wanna join us? I said like, yeah, why not? Just started there, you know. I got just a little part in this movie, but in the as as he said, like it was his uh, second part, but in the other one yes. I have like a full role, but. Also, you know, we've been like helping each other for. Well, what I try to do here, I don't mean to cut you off. Sorry, John. No, no, no. What I try to do is I try to get involved everybody in my community, including my mother, because uh, why not put some money in all my friends' pockets or Fine. my mother's? Fine. You know, that, that, that's. Well, I'm trying to that's do something good. <laughs> that's know, typically you know. Albanian. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. So, that, but, but basically, what I try to do is I try to put everybody in to get involved. There's people that I know, people that are close friends, people that grew up with me. Yes, I know. So, John, John uh, Alb Alb Albanian public uh, wants to know more, uh, more about you. Uh, how, uh, where have you, uh, where are you born? How do you, uh, do you are in, in USA? How did you get there? 
Okay. Okay, very simple. I'm going to break this down as easy as possible. Please. Okay, so I grew up I grew up in northern Albania, in Vermosh. In Vermosh. I don't know if, uh, poor. And uh, at that time, uh, the time of communism, you know, it was, uh, I was a little kid, I was a little boy. Up to six years old, I, I stayed there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we escaped from uh, the communist regime in the middle of the night, over the borders, risk death or freedom. This is what my father and my family decided to do because they just... How, ma how, ma how, how many people were, 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 were you when you left Albania? All your family? It was how, me and my people. Yeah, the whole family. My yes. grandmother, my mother, my father, and me and my brothers. Mm -hmm. Do you recall the time and, uh, in, your, in your memory? Yes, I have small recollections of it. Scary moments. Always told to be quiet, don't make any noise. You know, things like that. You know, try to walk in over, over a mountain for 13 hours into Montenegro. It was a rough, uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a do or die situation. And what happened That's next? Something, no. What happened next? We, we, we finally made it into Montenegro. Yes. And uh, I recall that my family just walked into this, in this valley to some houses with their hands up. They knew that we just escaped. And luckily for us that uh, we had relatives. My grandfather was a prominent citizen in Montenegro at the time uh -huh. because he, he, he got stuck there when the borders were, were sealed. He was more of like a diplomat. He used to go back and forth into Yugoslavia, into Albania. And when they sealed the borders, he was locked out of Albania. So he was stuck in Albania all that time. Like our family, like my mother didn't see her father for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. And when we landed into Montenegro and stuff like that, my mother was uh, telling them I'm so-and-so's daughter. I see. I see. And they and made a phone call and they sent people to come get us and they, they, they welcomed us with open arms. Uh, it was crazy. What, what, what was the, the, the time of, uh, of fetching, let, let's say, uh, like an, from a guy, a little guy from Vermosh and straightly to, to, to Bronx? What, what, what was the, the atmosphere that you, you, you faced? It, that, it was that hard for was you? A, the, that transition was absolutely hard, man. Absolutely hard because uh, we, we're taken from the middle of the we were in the country. Break mm -hmm. a smack in the middle of a ghetto in the Bronx. <laughs> Dash. What, what is more tremendous, in, uh, the Vermosh or the, or, or the, or the Ghetto of Bronx? Black. Yeah, so to me, was, you could imagine what it was like to see people of different colors, people who were acting crazy, different. to me it was a different culture, and, uh, not speaking the language, but uh, you know, going to school, uh, I, I quickly learned the language and whatnot, but it was a tough transition, you know, it was very scary, to be honest, I could have recalled it being scary. Uh, it was tough, it was tough, but uh, you know, Mm -hmm. Strong, strong family stuck together, and uh, you know here we are. Strong Albanians. That's right. <laughs> We're all strong. <laughs> John, uh, ever since, have, have you ever visited Albania? Uh, the first time I've been back was about uh, in 2012. Yes. And the reason I went back is I didn't even expect to go back. But uh, I don't know if you ever heard of uh, Unikatil, the rebel, yes, the yes, rapper. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I heard, I heard the, his song in your movie too. Yes. Yes, yeah, Fine. he's a very close friend of mine, him and Absolutely. his brothers, his family, were very good friends. And uh, so he did, he did a big show in Pristine in the stadium. And uh, he, um, without telling me, bought me a ticket. He said, you got to come with me. <laughs> and uh, so I went back finally to uh, Pristine. But then from there, I made my way into Albania. And then I, I made my way into Vermush, to my house where I was born. Yes. To where my family's from. And... Uh, it was very, very overwhelming feeling, you know. What, what, what was the, the, the feeling that you had when you, when you came back here in Albania, and know, especially man, in, in, your, in your place in Vermosh? You know, it was a very emotional feeling for me. Really? Yeah. How did you find Albania at, at that time? Uh, I fell in love. Really? Yes, and I'm still in love with Albania. Uh, the first chance I get, I'm coming back there to Albania. And uh, after uh, 2012, have you ever uh, came back yes, here? Yes, yeah, I've been back. I've been back uh, on two separate occasions. I was last year. Yes. Because we we, we represented, we went and showed the movie off in Tehran at the uh, Teg, you know, out of respect, mm -hmm. and yes. also in Pristine, you know, oh, uh, uh, we had a showing in uh, in Pristine. Mm -hmm. It was a extravagant red carpet event. We got a good turnout. So many so many people came. They showed a lot of love, and then we did it uh, uh, a couple of weeks later in Tehran. And Tehran mm -hmm. was awesome too. Great, 
great event. I, I mean, it was to me, it was great. Mm -hmm. uh, John, how, how come you, you, you still conserve the, the Albanian feelings, the Albanian, uh, let's say, uh, being, after you have a lot of years that you have disconnected the, uh, the, the, the relations, let's say, with <laughs> Albanian life and Albanian style? Listen to me, it's in my blood. That's my blood. <laughs> my blood runs quick as <laughs> Forever, it's going to be like that. My children are going to speak Albanian to the best that I could teach them. Mm -hmm. My grandchildren. Now, now Kim, we have this pride in us, I think. I don't know really? about everybody else, mm -hmm. but I'm proud to say I'm Albanian to the rest of the world here. Uh, John, uh, the, the, the Albanian artists are doing very well in music, like uh, I, I like to recall Lorita Ora, Dua Lipa, Eva Max by now, and uh, Bibi Rexa also. Have you ever been in contact with them? Uh, do, you, do you have any project or can you uh, move well, forward? Well, nothing, nothing with them, no. no. But, uh, you know, you forgot to mention Era Estrefi, which is... Uh, also, she, she's she a, is a very... But I haven't talented. seen her. Yeah, she's a very big... Albanians are making it big worldwide really? right now. And, and now and in, movie, and in movie too, because uh, New York Times uh, writing for an Albanian in movie, it's very rare, rare thing. Yeah. I, you know, like I said, this is still, um, it's hard for me to absorb all this at once because it's be it's becoming a snowball effect in North America. Are you, are, are you ready to face it? I'm ready for anything. I've, I've faced a lot worse in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm actually looking forward to it. I want to do something good. I want to do something positive, you know. This movie, like I said, uh, I wouldn't want my children or my mother to watch it, but this was like the first time I ever really did anything major, and this was I was paid to do a job, mm -hmm. and, and this I did the job I was asked to do. I, but I, I have a lot of things planned for the near future, and mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be something that that's going to wow everybody, I believe. I can see coming coming soon. John, you know, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. John and Joseph, uh, we, we are in, at, at the end of this interview. For me, it's been a very, very pleasure, a real pleasure, and a very, I'm very honored to, 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 to talk with you. Do you have an, any message for your people, for the Albanians? No, I just want to thank everybody for the support, because it showed me a lot of love and support when I was in Albania and in, uh, and in Pristine, you know. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but thank you, and I'm very, very flattered. And hopefully I can continue to bring something to them where, you know, they're going to want to watch and see. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you for, thank for you being Thank you very here. much and uh, thank you for having us. I appreciate this very I'm much. It was, it was a, a, a real great pleasure. Thank you very much. <coughs> thank you. Thank you very much for your great respect. We are also on the TV. And besides that, that we will see you in the film. Thank you very much. Let's repeat the right, right, communication that we will present in the film with the Albanian gangster. Thank you very much, John Reza. Thank you very much, Joseph Maziaj. Falimin një aktor i, i, i sprovojle të emi shu, kjo ishte paka shumë prova ti e parë si aktori kryesorë një filmi dhe gjeni pak më basë këti aktrimi a i u vlerësua me një të shmim të cilin endau gjusë për gjusë leda që e më shtu me një aktor shumë të famë shumë e shtetë bashkuarë të Amerikës si që është Ethan Hawke pra jo vetëm në muzik të shmë edhe në kinema dhe pse edhe në Hollywood si që në rëfyën si në dy miqëtanë në Zotë Reza dhe Zotë Mazijaj me sa duket shqiptarët po bëjnë ate hyrjen e madha të që është të nëtuar shpesher nga shumë aktorë të ndryshëm, por që me sa duket, Zotir Ezaj, me shumë mundësi mund të bëjë realitet. Falim derit që ishit me ne.